the Hebrew alphabet from Psalm 119. Aleph, the sacrificial animal. The first Hebrew letter takes us straight to the heart of God, directing us to Calvary and the shed blood of Christ, by which we gain forgiveness and access to his great grace. Aleph rightly occupies the first place in the alphabet, and indeed also our lives. Bait, the house, reminds us that Christ not only provides a dwelling place for us in God, but he himself is our dwelling, and that he dwells in us. Indeed, in him we live and move and have our being. Gimel, the camel, teaches us how we grow through the word of God, that Christ carries our heaviest burdens as he sets us free from the load of sin, allowing us to be weaned in his goodness and his grace. Daleth, the door, points to the Lord Jesus Christ being the only way to the Father and the only way to receive the promises of God. It reminds us that salvation begins with a personal decision to let Jesus the Messiah in. Che, the window, twice mentioned in the name of Yahweh, reminds us that he has provided a way and a time for us to see his grace and provision, and that the light of God enters in only through his word. Vav, the hook, provided through the word of God, is the strength that binds us to him and by which all things are held together. From Vav, mentioned in God's name, ultimately we learn it is the hook or revelation that we can safely hang our faith upon. Zayin, the sword of the Lord, with its sharpened double edge, is the ultimate weapon of our warfare. It perfectly depicts the power and effectiveness of the Word of God when taught, studied, believed in, and spoken by the children of God. Hate is the hedge that surrounds us constantly, reminding us of the truth that we are protected from the hand of the enemy through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ and the presence of mighty angels. Tet, the serpent, reminds us of our route to salvation, that we were indeed born in iniquity, with certain judgment until we receive the ultimate sacrifice at Calvary, through which we are all made free. It reminds us that Christ took the sin of the whole world upon himself on the cross of Calvary. Yod, the hand, reminds us that we need not fight our own battles because his presence is ever with us to aid us. It also teaches us that God will guide us to the word through the Holy Spirit, the very yod of our lives. Kof, the wing or palm, teaches us that God keeps us in the very palm of his hand. Yes, Kof teaches us that as we humble ourselves, he covers us with his wings of protection and healing and protects us against all the advances of the enemy. Lamed, the goading stick, shows us how we learn through the word of God. It teaches us that the good shepherd, Christ himself, prods us and pushes us to be the best that we can be, always increasing through his magnificent word. Mem reminds us, as in baptism, of the complete and wonderful benefits of total immersion in the word of the living God, and that Christ himself is the source of our living water, as water compasses our bodies and the earth itself. Likewise, the word surrounds us. Nun, the fish, speaks of the word of God making us fruitful, we clearly see its ability to cause us to increase in every way. Nun also points us to Calvary, to Christ's victory over the grave through a depiction of Jonah, who although swallowed by the great fish, he yet survived. Samek, the prop or support, reminds us that without God, we simply cannot stand and that he will be our strength and support when we are about to fall, and that those who trust in Jesus lean not in their own understanding. 
I in. The I teaches us that the Word of God is the entry point of all illumination through the Lord Jesus Christ. It also reminds us that those who walk with Christ walk in the light of his wisdom and truth. Pe is the mouth supernaturally opened by God to give his children the edge or divine advantage through his word. Those who receive and trust in Jesus will move mountains. Shadi, God's fish hook, allows us to see God's heart towards man. Shadi reminds us of God's love for man and how he is ever looking to bring us into his righteousness and presence through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ, the Word. Cough, the back of the head, reminds us that God has made provision for us, particularly in areas that we cannot see. It tells us that we can rest assured, always knowing that through the Word of God, we literally have eyes in the back of our head. Reish, or Rosh, meaning the head or highest, shows us that there is no greater authority than the Word of God, legally, governmentally, or spiritually. Reish also speaks of the Word of God's ability to renew and refresh us. Shin, with its three upright prongs, symbolic of the Trinity and the three Shanims. Although practiced worldwide, Shin is the symbol of the true Aaronic blessing, which today can only be attained through Christ. Tav, the last, but definitely not the least. Tav culminates the Hebrew alphabet and highlights to us God's precious covenant with man. Meaning cross-shaped mark, Tav, like the first letter, takes us back to Calvary and the supreme sacrifice of Christ. Tav is the mark of the covenant that circumcises our hearts in Christ. Christ.